What's up, you YouTubers? It's Hobby Hunter 89 and the voices in my head coming at you from the Duelist Den. And today we have a top 10 video for you. Now, I did promise you guys a deck profile for today, but unfortunately, Dueling Nexus does not have the Maximum Crisis cards up on their site, so I am not able to do that deck profile for you. I also cannot do it on Dueling Book as I don't have an actual computer. I do all my stuff through my tablet. So I can't get on Dueling Book because my tablet doesn't support the Adobe Flash player that is required to get on to Dueling Book. So I'm going to have to wait until Dueling Nexus gets those uh, Maximum Crisis cards up on their site before I can do that deck profile for you. So instead, I'll be doing two top 10 lists for you this week instead. Now this top 10 list is the top 10 trap monsters in the game. Now in order to make this list fair, I will not be including any of the Paleozoic or Phantom Knight trap monsters. Because if I did, then this list would be nothing but Paleozoic and Phantom Knight cards. So I will not be including those just in the interest of fairness. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. For the 10th spot, we have King Scarlet. Now, King Scarlet is a continuous trap card, and the effect states that if a Red Dragon Archfiend monster you control battles during damage calculation, it make that monster you control unable to be destroyed by that battle. And if you do, special summon this card as a normal monster, Fiend type tuner fire, level 1, attack 0, and defense 0. But this card is also still treated as a trap card. Now, the reason this card is on this list is because it, of course, is a tuner monster and in addition to that it prevents your red dragon archery from being destroyed during that battle the turn you activate this card the reason is number 10 is because as a monster it doesn't really have any special conditions for itself the number nine spot goes to diamond dust now this is a normal trap card and the effect states that when a card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect special summon dust and monsters from your deck to anywhere on the field equal to the number of those destroyed cards. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one Dustin monster from your grave to special summon this card in defense position as a normal monster, fiend type, dark attribute, level 1, attack 0, defense 1000, to your opponent's side of the field. This card is not treated as a trap card, and this effect can only be used once while this card is in the graveyard. But if summoned this way, it cannot be tributed or used as material for a fusion, synchro, or exist summon. Now the reason I like this card and the reason it's on this list is because it gives your opponent a monster that they can't use for anything. They can't tribute it for a tribute summon or use it for any of their extra deck summons. Uh, I guess it could still be used as fodder for card effects or ritual summons. But outside of that, it gives your opponent a very weak monster that they can't really use for anything. For the number 8 spot we have Machine King 3000 BC it is a continuous trap card and the effect is that you special summon this card as an effect monster machine type level 4 earth attribute with 1000 attack and defense and this card is also still a trap card. Uh, you cannot no more special summon another monster the turn you activate this card and once per turn during your main phase you attribute one machine type monster this card gains an attack equal to the attributed monster's attack until the end phase. Now the downside is that this card loses that attack during the end phase, but the plus side is if you have a big old beat stick to somebody's like, oh I don't know, Fiendish Chained or something, you can use this and then tribute the Fiendish Chained monster to give this a big old fucking attack boost and attack over pretty much anything that your opponent has on the field. Number 7 goes to Zoma the Spirit. This is a continuous trap card, and you can special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster, zombie type, dark, level 4, attack 1800, defense 500, and this card is also still a trap card. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. Now, this card is extremely, extremely amazing, merely because... If your opponent has nothing but a giant fucking beater on the field, and then you use Zoma the Spirit, and they attack Zoma and destroy it, your opponent's going to be taking a fuck ton of burn damage just to get one trap monster off of the field. 
For the number 6 spot we have Cyber Shadow Garden. Now this continuous trap card states that you can only activate it during your opponent's main phase. And after activation, special summon this card is treated as an effect monster card, machine type, earth, level 4, attack and defense unknown. And this card is still treated as a trap card. If this card is selected as an attack target, the attack and defense of this card become the attack and defense of the, tar er, of the attacking monster. And this card is set in the spell and trap card zone during your opponent's end phase. Now the great thing about this card is that if it is selected as an attack target, it will match head for head any monster that attacks it. Now it's really potent if you're the, a monster that attacks it has higher defense than it does attack, but that doesn't happen very often. So ideally you want something on the field that boosts the attack of earth monsters or that boosts the attack of machine type monsters. That way if this card is attacked it will have a little bit more attack than your opponent's monster that way your opponent's monster is the one getting destroyed and not your own and the another great thing about this is you know it does get set back in your spell and trap zone during your opponent's end phase so it gives you the ability to continuously reuse this card the number five spot goes to Abyss Stungray. This is a continuous trap card, and the effect states that you special summon this card as an effect monster, Thunder type, Light, level five, attack 1900, defense zero. This card is also still a trap card, and if summoned this way, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Now, this effect may not seem very powerful, and may not seem like it's top five worthy, but this card does show unknown potential that you might not realize. <clears throat> First of all, not being or being able to not be destroyed by battle is a very very good effect second look at the stats for the monster that is summoned with this card uh, it is a level 5 light attribute so that gives you access to cards like constellar pleiades and uh, cyber dragon nova and things like that so this card does have a lot of potential to be teched into uh, various decks just to get a monster you need to summon those other very powerful monsters. The number four spot goes to Space Dragster. Space Dragster says that you can special summon this card as an effect monster, machine type, tuner, fire, level one, attack zero, defense 1800. This card is also still a trap card. And if summoned this way, other tuners you control cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects while this card is in the monster zone. So not only is this a tuner monster that you can use for synchro summons, but this card also protects your other tuners from being destroyed by battle and card effects, so you can continuously have them on the field, or ensure that they stay on the field, to go into your synchro plays. The number 3 spot goes to Statue of Anguish Pattern. Now this continuous trap card states that you special summon this card as an effect monster, Rock type Earth, level 7, attack 0, defense 2500. This card is also still a trap card, and if summoned this way, this card cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect while you control another trap card that is a monster. And if a card is special summoned from your spell and trap zone to the monster zone while this card is a monster, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. Now the attack is just shit for this card, but it does have a decent defense. It also has a built-in protection effect, and it has a destruction effect, which allows it to be up this high on the list. Now, the thing I like about the destruction effect is it's not only if a trap card is special summoned, it's any monster that's in the spell and trap zone is special summoned up to the field. That it can include uh, the Crystal Beast monsters, Union monsters, anything, or any monster that's in the spell and trap zone that you special summon to the field, you get a destruction effect off of this card. The number two spot is Crystal Avatar. This trap card states that when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, if its attack is greater than or equal to your life points, special summon this card in attack position as an effect monster, warrior type light, level four attack, unknown defense zero, that has attack equal to your life points, then change the attack target to this card. Uh, this card is also still a trap card, and if this card summoned this way is destroyed by battle after damage calculation, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. So, if your opponent's trying to hit you for that last bit of damage for the game, you can bring Crystal Avatar up to your field as a monster, and pretty much force your opponent to attack it and then hit your opponent for burn damage. Now, with monsters these days having 
uh, 25, 3,000 attack plus. You know, all you need is, you know, 24 to 2,900 attack points for those monsters respectively in order to get a huge amount of burn damage off on this card. For the number one spot, we have Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. What this card does is you activate this card by targeting any number of level 4 machine type monsters you control. Special summon this card as an effect monster, machine type earth, level 4, attack 0, and defense 0. Then you equip those face up monsters to this card. This card is still a trap card, and if summoned this way, this card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters you control for attacks except this one. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects except this one. Now, the reason this card makes the number one spot is because not only can it gain a huge boost on attack points from the equip cards, but if you have two or at least two of these out on the field, your opponent cannot attack you or target your monsters with card effects. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell me what you thought about the video in the comment sections below. Let me know what you have put on this list over something else that is on this list. In addition to that, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, background image for today's video. My fiance drew this. It's pretty good. Uh, I really do enjoy it. I thought it would be a good backdrop for this video. But anyway, until next time, this is Hyperion89 and the voices in my head, signing off. Take a shot at me.